We've all witnessed lash extensions become more and more popular, popping up in salons all over the place. So you might be wondering, are you too late? Is there any more money to be made if you become a lash tech? Is there too much competition and not enough clients? And the short answer is no, you are not too late. There is so much money still to be made in this industry. And we've not even gone close to how popular this industry will be in the future. Not even close. I opened my studio about four years ago now and in our town at the time, people had no clue what lash extensions were. And so this is still ever evolving industry. It is predicted that lash extensions will become a $1.8 billion industry by 2025. Uh, according to Grandview Research Market Research Future, we will link that down below for you if you wanna check it out. That is a lot of money and there is absolutely no reason you can't have a little bit of it. And if anything, you'll be ahead of the game by starting now. You might be wondering what do I mean by a saturated market? A saturated market is when market demand for a product or service decreases with the amount of options. So one way to determine if you're in a saturated market is if you have a franchise location in your city, you may think that this means it's saturated, but it actually probably means it's a good thing. If there's a franchise in your area, you know that you live in an area where lash extensions are in high demand. Franchise location will have done their research and they know that if they open a store in a certain area, they're guaranteed to see a return on investment. So how do you stand out in a saturated market? Find your unique selling point. Each of these different markets have different needs for eyelash extensions. Until you have clarity on which target market's problem you want to be serving and how you will serve it, you won't stand out against your competition. Mostly, if you love doing lash extensions and you have a way that you want to be inspired to serve your clients, it will be very true for you. So just follow your heart and do things that come naturally to you. Your natural vibe is really gonna set you apart from someone else. So don't do what everyone else is doing. That is the absolute wrong way to stand out in a market. You don't wanna boost posts with no value. You don't wanna use your booking software as your only website touch point you don't want to be just copying the person next to you because that doesn't make you stand out. It's ineffective and it's done all the time and copying is sometimes how we learn and sometimes we have to do that in the beginning but the true way that you will succeed is to individualize yourself in the industry. You have to be able to recognize trends and make changes in the industry. Really innovate for yourself. Figure out how you are going to do this. Branching out into other complementing industries can also make you stand out. If you think that you're joining this industry though because it's quick money or easy, don't bother. This really takes a lot of passion that has, has to be something that you are feeling alive in your soul about. Otherwise you will not stand out and you will not succeed. So lash extensions involve more than you think. So get properly trained and take your career seriously. Investing in your career is going to help you stand out. And so just taking a like $200 online course is really not going to cut it. Sometimes offering bundle deals can help make your business stand out. And if you need a loyalty program to encourage repeat business, that's also a really good idea. So if you're willing to go above and beyond or differentiate yourself by putting your unique twist on something, clients are probably going to gravitate towards you if they identify with that as well. So be unique, be different, and your business should reflect this. Your training is a basic guideline. There are some things that are very important that you cannot switch around, but then there are a whole other set of things that you can learn. Rules are made to be broken sometimes. You just have to learn which rules are important to keep. So to wrap it up, your role and your goal in a saturated marketplace is to know what makes your service a no-brainer for the right customer for your business. You do that first by knowing who they are, what their problem is, and how to solve it. Also by trusting yourself. What do you like? What do you stand out at? What are you good at? These are the things that are going to really excel for you and make you stand out. The truth is there really is no market saturation because when you look down to it, if you are uniquely operating as yourself and providing a unique service and really being true to yourself, then no one else can compete with you and no one else can really be you or replace you because they will do things differently. They will be different. They will like different things. They will excel in different things. Every single thing cannot be the same. We're not robots. So people will go to the people they like and identify with and who provide the little nuances that they really identify with as a customer. So my suggestion would be to just be yourself because in the end, if you build your reputation and your business and your clientele on something that is a lie and something that isn't you and something you don't identify with, then it's gonna make you miserable. And eventually you are going to hate the thing that you loved, lash extensions, 
and you are going to burn out and you are going to have a crisis of identity in your business. You are going to have to reset your policies. You're going to have to reset everything anyways to be able to actually be your authentic self because no one can fake things forever. And at that point, you will have to rebuild things anyway. So my truest advice would be to start by being unapologetically you because no one else can do that. That is your competitive advantage and no one can saturate your market then.